it's June 2012. We're at Nye Manufacturing and we're just demonstrating the uh, Bazooka pin puller system. So this is a pin puller system that's designed for pulling pins out of excavator attachments, booms and um, buckets and attachments. So what you have is the red piece is a star lock which uh, allows the bazooka to attach. There's an interrupted thread similar to the obturator on a M16 machine gun and it fits on the star lock and then the probe on the cylinder here fits inside the hex and there's a cross pin that you use to pull it out. The hex prevents the pin from rotating and gives you a surface to, uh, to grip with the bazooka. These are the pieces over here that you would need to convert your existing attachments. There's the star lock that you weld onto the side of the boom or the attachment and then there's the hex piece which is going to weld onto the end of your pin. So if your pin has a pin flag, you're going to remove the pin flag and weld this on. So what you do is you just plug weld it in from the center and then it's cross drilled for the pull pin. Okay, thank you Ryan. Why don't we uh, just do a quick demo here. So right now for auxiliary hydraulics we're using a Heister forklift and uh, we have an adjustable pressure regulator right here on the control valve. This screw allows you to set the pressure. We suggest you keep it as low as possible. That still does the job. And that'll be easier on everything. Okay, so go ahead then, Ryan. It can be handled by one man, as you can see, although really I would recommend two men for the job. And you just position it on and give it a turn. And uh, Ryan is just going to tighten up the bolts, snug up the bolts to keep it square. Then the, use the control valve right here and just extend the probe. And the probe is going to fit right into the hex. And then the cross bolt, which is stowed underneath, that just drops in right here. Now you've got to remove the lock collar from the other side, whether you've got a three bolted cap or a lock collar or whatever it is, but you just remove the pin, take the lock collar off and store it on the side and then you use the bazooka to, to pull the pin out. Just retract the pin thusly. Now this gives you a chance to raise the H-link or the uh, bucket arm away from the attachment you're uncoupling. Now if this was an actual bucket, we'd actually have two star locks on here, but this is a demonstration so we only put the one star lock. But the routine would be remove the link pin, pull the H-link up out of place, put the pin back in place and then set up on the uh, stick pin where we are here, remove the stick pin, raise the stick and then reinsert the stick pin. So you can go ahead and put the stick pin back in. Right, and then uh, you can put the lock collar back on, pull the pins out. And uh, you can just stow it back in place. Suck the probe back out just to protect the rod and keep it safe. And then loosen off the clamping screws. So this saves a tremendous amount of work for anyone who's trying to uh, mount and dismount heavy attachments or booms or sticks for construction equipment. And because the bazooka comes right off the attachment, it gives you the opportunity to use this on a variety of attachments. Use it on the boom, use it on the stick, and uh, also use it on your bucket and attachments. You'll notice that uh, the white hex piece there does a couple of functions. It has a stop surface which prevents the pin from going in too far here. It has a machined hex surface which fits on the star lock to prevent the pin from rotating and it provides a surface to grip for the uh, bazooka puller and it's plug welded on the inside. In this case we've only just tacked it but normally that would be fully welded all the way around. And there you have the Nye Bazooka Pin Puller. Thank you Ryan.